Paying for a purchase is now as easy as tapping your cell phone. But a consumer group in the U.S. is warning people to think twice before turning their mobiles into wallets. Teresa Lalonde looks at the security issues for your privacy and your money. The Google Wallet is here for owners of the Nexus smartphone and student Blackberries. You can pay for a coffee this way. No need to carry a wad of loyalty cards. It's the end of overflowing wallets. Um, you go to a, sh a shop, you always have your phone close to your hand. It works like this. You use a Google program to connect with a city MasterCard you pre-fill. Several stores and fast food places in Yaletown allow the pay system now. Reaction is mixed. Definitely I'd use it. I'd I think it's just one less thing to have in my pocket. I use my phone for everything. So. No. Why not? I have credit cards. So. The concern over Google Wallet is what happens if something goes wrong? You start a transaction, cancel it, but still get billed for it. You've got Google, your credit card company, and potentially your telecom provider to deal with. I think one thing with Google is that they don't always have the best uh, support. So if you've forgotten a password or if you need something reset, it's harder to get a hold of a real person. But Google says they have put safeguards in place to keep the bad guys out. The company's statement says Android enforces strict access policies so that malicious applications wouldn't have access to data stored by Google Wallet. But there's another concern besides privacy. Canada is expected to follow the U.S., where cell phone providers will bill you directly. It means your purchases would appear on your phone bill, not your credit card. We want to make sure that consumers are aware that there are these potential traps in case they do use the direct-to-mobile billing. The traps in the U.S. are holes in the level of protection to consumers. If your credit card is stolen, you aren't liable for the fraudulent charges. But cell phone companies don't offer the same safety net. TELUS says, like all cell providers, it is actively looking at getting into wireless pay, but doesn't know when that will happen. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.